Hey there, everybody. It's me, Jason the Cartoon Fan. I know I said in my previous video that my next upload was going to be an unboxing of Steven Universe The Complete Collection, and I also know that in one of my most recent community posts, I said that that video would be uploaded today, which for those of you who are watching this after it got uploaded is Saturday, January 2nd, 2021, but I had to delay the video to tomorrow, and the reason why is because I'm visiting my Grandpa Bill over in Sonora. It's where I'm at right now, which is the reason why this video has a different filming location than usual. Anyways, since I missed out on purchasing any Christmas movies in December, I decided that to purchase a Christmas movie on Blu-ray while I was visiting Grandpa and do an unboxing of it as a way of making up to you viewers for not being able to post the Steven Universe Complete Collection unboxing today like I originally planned to. Well, not even originally planned to because I was, I was originally going to upload that video on New Year's Day, but because... Um, the previous video I uploaded, my Christmas presents of 2020 video, ended up getting uploaded one day late due to it being an excessively long video and therefore taking a ridiculously long time to upload. Um, I had to delay it to today and now I have to delay it again. So for this unboxing, I'm going to be doing a quick little look at a reissued version of the Blu-ray for my all-time favorite holiday movie, National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation. I love the original three films in the National Lampoon's Vacation film series, and I think that the Griswolds are the most relatable family in any piece of live-action media, which is saying a lot. Because, you know, live action media is supposed to be, you know, real. But most families in TV shows and movies aren't super realistic or anything like that. Anyways, I'm definitely happy to finally have this movie in my collection. Since I have the original National Lampoon's Vacation on Blu-ray. And um, I've been wanting to get Christmas Vacation on Blu-ray as well. It's just that I hadn't gotten around to doing so until now. So this is a reissued version as part of a new line of DVDs and Blu-rays that Warner Brothers started in 2019 called Iconic Moments, where they basically take their older releases of their popular movies and put new slip covers on top of them. And each title in the series, the new slip cover has a significant item and quote from the movie that is featured in the particular title on the front cover. So yeah, the slipcover looks pretty nice, but as you can probably already tell from looking right over here, you see it's peeking out from underneath the sticker that was placed on top of the shrink wrap covering the slipcover. You can tell that this is just the original Blu-ray release underneath a slipcover, but I decided to purchase it this way because I really do like the artwork that's on the slipcover here all give a better detailed look at it. So on the top, we see a Blu-ray icon, and we see Chevy Chase's name, and then right below that, it says National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation with the National Lampoon logo on top of Christmas Vacation. And right below that is a picture of the eggnog cup that Clark was using to drink eggnog out of in the movie 
which he got at Wally World, referencing the original vacation. And then right below that is one of Clark's many, many quotable quotes from the film. We're going to have the hap, hap, happiest Christmas, which I actually referenced at the end of my Christmas ornaments of, like my cr complete Christmas ornament collection for those of you who didn't get the reference when they, when they saw that video. So, um, yeah. And you can see right over here that it also comes with a digital copy code. All I have to do is peel the sticker to s get the code. Um, I'm not going to do that right now, obviously, but who knows? Maybe if I install this Movies Anywhere app on my new phone, I might get around to putting that code in there. So just in case, I won't peel it open to show you guys and gals. All right. Um, left and right sides of the slipcover are both pretty much the same. They both have the um, WB Shield. It says Iconic Moments. Then we have a Blu-ray icon. Uh, the National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation logo. And the new version of Warner Brothers Home Entertainment's logo. Which they just introduced earlier this year. Replacing the iconic Golden Shield logo that said Warner Home Video from, I believe it was 1996 until 2017. And it said home entertainment from 2017 until early, until you know, 2020, to just being the WB Shield, like the more generic one that just says WB, with Warner Brothers Home Entertainment appearing in a generic font at the bottom. You can't see it here, but it is featured in full on the back, like the font from the logo. All right, so here is the back of the slipcover with this nice looking artwork that was in the poster and all the home video releases of the movie of Clark in a Santa outfit getting electrocuted by his Christmas lights, which doesn't actually happen in the film itself, but it's still super funny. And right below that is a little thumbnail from the film. And the description reads, This holiday season, Clark Griswold, Ch played by Chevy Chase, vows his clan will have the most fun-filled family Christmas ever. Before you can sing fa la 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 ha, he decks the halls with howls of folly in the perennial favorite National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation. Seeing is believing. There are 25,000 lights on the roof, an exploding turkey on the dining room table, a SWAT team taking siege outside, a festive supporting cast including Beverly D'Angelo, Randy Quaid, Julia Louis de Dreyfus, I believe that's how it's pronounced, Juliet a Lewis, William Hickey, and more, and a John Hughes script full of wit, heart, and sheer goofiness. You'll love it. And then right below that is a little listing of all the special features. Well, technically, both of the special features because there are only two extras on this Blu-ray. A commentary track with some of the actors of the movie as well as the film's director, Jeremiah Churchick, and the film's producer, Maddie Simmons. It's weird that they didn't get Chevy Chase to record this commentary, though, since... This is like one of his most popular movies ever, and he uh, did appear in the commentary for the original National Lampoon's Vacation for that movie's DVD and Blu-ray release. So it's weird that they didn't get him for this commentary. And then right below that is the full version of the new Warner Brothers Home Entertainment logo and some legal information. You can pause here if you want to read all the information that's listed here. All right, now let's open this up and see what we got underneath the slipcover. I'm pretty sure that it's the exact same Blu-ray underneath as the original release since all the other iconic moment WB, DVD, and Blu-ray titles are just 
each movie's older releases underneath new slipcovers, but we'll just have to wait and see if that really is the case. Yep, it is. This is indeed the exact same Blu-ray that was released all the way back in 2008, with that nice-looking artwork of Clark getting electrocuted by the Christmas lights appearing once again, but this time on the front cover, and this nice little... Uh, this nice little string of Christmas lights drawn ac around the image. Alright, so this is the front. And we have the spine. Pretty much the same deal as the two sides of the slipcover, except that there's a stock number on the spine now. And the back same information on the back as there were last time just with um a different font and uh different thumbnails and unfortunately even though the slip cover was shrink wrapped already the blu-ray case underneath is was shrink wrapped as well so i'll have to get something to i'll have to get something to open the case up with. And here is the actual Blu-ray disc. Um, unfortunately, but not surprisingly, nothing really too fancy in terms of artwork. But um, Jay's Blu-rays has a copy of this Blu-ray that he got as soon as this movie was released on Blu-ray in 2008. And it was through his video, like his video showing off all of the Christmas stuff he owns on DVD and Blu-ray, that I found out that older copies of this Blu-ray had full-color artwork featuring Clark. Mine doesn't, though. Alright. As for the actual review, um, I would give this Blu-ray a 4 out of 5 stars. Um, of course, the movie is really, really good, but unfortunately, this Blu-ray needs a little bit of, like, it needed a little bit more to be a perfect release of the film. Um, even though the movie is encoded in 1080 PhD, uh, the video quality isn't the best. I mean, it's definitely watchable. It's just that it looks faded. And a little bit blurry. Um, definitely pretty disappointing for a high definition remaster. It's possible that it's just the DVD footage simply upscaled to HD. But the movie was produced with a pretty low budget to begin with. So I don't think they could have fixed the AV quality too much. But strangely, the movie is presented on this Blu-ray... In 1.0 mono sound, which is weird, like, because, you know, this is a Blu-ray. Why wouldn't it be in 5.1 or, heck, even 7.1 surround sound? Or at the very least, have this movie in stereo, but, but they decided to keep it in mono. I'm assuming that that's the audio it was recorded in, but come on, how cheap are you, Warner Brothers?, to not want to give this movie a better audio quality than it does on DVD. So, uh, like I said, the movie wasn't produced with the biggest budget. So, I don't think that they could have fixed up the AV quality too much. But what they could have done to improve the quality of this Blu-ray was had some more special features. Um, unfortunately... Like I mentioned earlier, there are only two extras. 
the commentary track, and the movie's theatrical trailer. The commentary is a pretty interesting listen. It manages to be both entertaining and informative at the same time, even though Chevy Chase isn't on it for some weird reason. But that's pretty much the only major extra. It's nice to have the theatrical trailer since Warner, like most studios, are notorious for not including theatrical trailers on newer releases of their movies, both older and more recent. So, yeah, it's good that they're that the the extras we did get are good. It's just that I just wish that this movie, this movie is such a holiday classic. It deserves a better home media release. It would be cool if we got a completely new Blu-ray of this film rather than just having Warner Brothers continuously release it just like the same Blu-ray from 2008, just putting it under new slipcovers. Uh, let's see. The, um, the original National Lampoon's Vacation was originally released on Blu-ray in a pretty similar bare-bones fashion. Well, mostly bare-bones, all the way back in 2009, with the only extra being the commentary track. But... Then, in 2013, for the movie's 30th anniversary, Warner Brothers released a brand new Blu-ray of the movie that not only improved the picture quality a little bit, but also added in some extras that weren't on the original Blu-ray. Um, a behind-the-scenes look, which ran for almost as long as the movie itself, and a little introduction to the movie from Chevy Chase and some of the other actors from the film that was previously included on the movie's original DVD release, and the film's theatrical trailer. Um, all the bonus features from the original DVD release of the movie have been for Christmas Vacation have been ported over to this Blu-ray, so it's not like we lost any extras or anything like that. But still, it would have been nice to get new stuff, like a completely new Blu-ray of the movie with some more extras when you consider how popular this film is. Hopefully that will happen sometime in the future. But in the meantime, this Blu-ray is still the definitive home media release of the film. So for, if so, for some weird reason you haven't picked it up yet, I definitely recommend purchasing it, preferably around the holidays. But, you know, since I wasn't able to buy anything in December because I was busy um, doing other stuff, like busy doing other, yeah, busy doing other things for Christmas, I wasn't able to buy it then. But now I have it in my collection. I'm definitely happy to put it alongside the original Vacation movie. And, uh, yeah, sometime in the future... I might eventually get your opinion vacation. And, you know, if Warner Brothers ever decides to release a complete collection box set for the Vacation series, featuring all three movies, as well as the two not-so-good follow-ups, Vegas Vacation and the 2015 reboot, I might eventually get such a set if Warner Brothers ever decides to put one out. Just for, you know, completionist's sake. Okay. That's it for this video. If you liked it, please, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. Make sure to comment if you want to. And until next time, this is Jason the Cartoon Fan signing off.